Hero landing. Today we're gonna learn this super hero landing. Depends, you can do motion tracking or you can do it very simple with some planes, some particles, render the particles, very simple, some camera shaking. I don't think you can get simpler than this. You can go crazy detail with it. Welcome to Vitor Bentrilok. I'm your host George and today we're gonna do the superhero landing. We're gonna start with the blank project and then let's delete the light. We don't need the light. Let's try to align the camera the way we want it. So just position your view and then press uh, Control Alt Zero. The camera goes wherever your view is. Now let's take the cube, S to scale, Z to scale on Z as to scale, Z to scale on Z. This is gonna be our particle emitter. Let's G, Z, put it down a little bit. Let's add a plane. S to scale, eight to make it eight times bigger. Let's uh, give it a material. Press plus, new, make it emission. Color, let's use the image texture. Let's find our video, which I know where it is. Let's give it a zillion frames. Uh, click auto refresh default let's make it on a window and now there it is our our footage is plane on plane <laughs> shift d to duplicate r to rotate y and then press 90 scale on the z axis you can move it here and there tweak it the way you want it uh, my video is quite long so it's just me going in the park, set up the camera and just jumping around. I know that it's, it's kind of finishes around 600 frames. And let's say it's at 500. And now as you can see, it's just, it's just me trying to jump as high as possible and make the most superhero landing out there. So just me jumping and now I need to find a frame where I'm actually in the air. So whenever I, I'm going to start falling, around this 490 491 which is good we're gonna start 491 so far so good we have the landing all set up the view and now the end frame i make one two three four steps maybe 583 i'm gonna keep it short for the sake of this tutorial you can make it longer you can make it shorter it's up to you now let's take the cube let's align it press a g and X to move it on X axis and then GY to move it on Y axis and just position it whatever you actually reckon you're gonna land and uh, this is good let's give it a particle I press plus particle I find out around 300 for me was good because it's not too much not too low let's find out where I'm exactly touching the ground uh, frame start about 5 or 2 and then let's give it like 5 five seconds 5 or 8 and uh, lifetime the other one is not gonna touch velocity we're gonna play with this let's give it 0 normals we're gonna put on Z yeah we got to have to put here 6 milliseconds and now uh, we're gonna need to find out the the right amount to where it is gonna explode to where it's gonna how it's gonna spread you can add uh, force fields you can make it pop you can make it red you can make it glow you can make it is up to you so as far as you can see we have like something popping something is working I just need to figure it out how to make it how to make it to pop like to like an explosion so the particle is gonna look like an explosion uh, now as you see it renders as hollow, we're gonna need to add an object, we're gonna scale this up, but let's crank up the randomize, that is the missing uh, puzzle piece, and now when we can land, we're gonna land, you can see that is like an explosion, so the particles goes everywhere, look at this, it's, this is amazing, oh, I love it. Now let's add a nice cosphere, let's press GZ to move it down, scale it down a little bit, scale it on Z. To make it more like flatten and uh, rotate now is all up to you you can do the sky's the limit the 
universe whatever now let's go render as render as object icosphere we got icosphere now to scale is appropriate to scale it as in the way your video is i'm gonna scale it around 0.8 maybe i'm gonna play with it later or no make the scale scale randomness one so is some of them are smaller some of them are bigger now let's go to edit mode tab uh, press proportional editing and let's just play with some vertices verticals i'm not sure how this is called and let's just randomize it a little bit just it is up to you the way you want to look this is is thousand percent added edible and i'm just trying to keep it as short as possible and as good now that we have our particles set up let's go back to the cube icosphere everything looks good so far so with the uh, particle we are all set up now let's add the light because there is not enough not enough shadows there let's add an area light let's scale it up let's make it a lot brighter so it's basically some shadows like top one is is more light than the bottom one so mm, makes like anyway we're gonna blur we're gonna blur it out and this is yeah it adds a little detail mm. but it's it's okay it's good to have it now as you can see that when the particle explodes it goes above the hand so we're gonna do a little trick here we're gonna go to edit mode we're gonna cut the plane in half control t we're gonna grab these four vertices verticals press G and then press X and we're just gonna make it like a like an arrow so when uh, when it, we're gonna press G X we're gonna see that the, the closer we bring it the particles disappear so it's kind of like hold out quick and dirty quick and dirty effect so when we land you can see the particle doesn't go above the hand so it's like making it in the 3d space it goes left and right we need to uh, cover the whole camera just close this but choose these vertices g to move y and then go this so far so good we have the scene set up we have the particles uh we need we, we're gonna go now and shade this a little a little uh, rock go to the shading go to here press zero to go to camera view uh, press new material let's move this here now we're gonna we're gonna search for a mix shader because we're gonna mix the two shades together and then we're gonna shade the one in top shade the two in the bottom let's add them color ramp now now it's up to you I, I, I like the way the Voronoi looks Voronoi you can press ctrl T add on go to preferences plug this in here this in there and we can mix these two colors together but first we need to make two actual different colors let's change this to 4D and we can move the W we're gonna animate it later I'm gonna show you how you can do that let's actually make two different colors as you can see some more magic happens and now if we slide if we slide these uh, handles you can see that it gets more detail uh, it actually looks like rocks but because we're gonna blur it we're gonna blur it out really good this is a cool nice little detail I, I like it so that's why I, I went into it so deep we're gonna make it 4d play with the sliders the way you reckon is good for you with the scale uh randomness mm, yeah how do you think it's gonna look better for your scene but for my scene i find it this for this quick tutorial to look quite good play with sliders play with this and then we're gonna animate this later i'm just gonna move this on the, on the side let's uh, bring some uh, normal map and make it look more real let's take the voronoi noise plug into normal let's get normal into colors let's take the normal and plug in it to normal let's plug the normal on the other one as well so it's quite a simple node setup not much hassle because <coughs> this is going to be blurred excuse my cough 
now let uh, as you can see it's added a little bit more extra details you can make it any color you want like I'm gonna make this a little bit darker or you can make it blue green yellow red orange or we can bring a stylized uh, shady from outside from outside blender just import it is up to you the sky is the limit I'm happy with these results we're gonna go to the area light we're gonna I'm gonna try make it a little bit more brighter because that is uh, not enough uh, shading now as you can see it's not on top of it we're gonna paste on Z to go on the top view move the cam move the light a little bit so all the particles are lighted even and now uh, as you can see it looks pretty pretty good let's render to see how the render looks like it looks amazing let's go to EV we're gonna use sample of 300 ambient occlusion bloom motion blur that is what we're looking for and from filming go to standard and then let's find where to save it save it whatever you want and let's put FFmpeg video and coding don't forget to go from from container on container go to mpeg4 I forgot to do this in the video so container mpeg4 that is really important you can you can edit it later or you can do whatever you want so let's crank up the power of the light so here we are we're having some CG blood fake particles that makes our superhero landing really good now let's go to compositing press use nodes let's add a view node let's move this here if you press uh, shift right mouse button you can cut a little cut there and you can plug it into into the viewer straight uh, V to glow to bring closer alt, alt V to move it further let's bring a color correction let's make the green greener yes who doesn't like some green and then let's make the sky a little bit more blue to blend everything together we can go crazy on the compositing as well but I'm gonna try to keep it as plain and simple as possible quick and dirty I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make one more in depth where uh, actually the ground is gonna is gonna pop up and a uh, uh, little bit of effects but so far for this I'm happy it's really quick I try to look online and find that it's super hair landing most of them are like super complex and I find this cute and nice and yeah I've shared it a little bit here and there and people are like wow that looks amazing so as you can see so far so good now we're gonna add the little the very last touch we got another keyframe on the Z location actually let's find where I actually touch the ground so I'm touching around frame 503 we're gonna add a keyframe let's change this to graph editor and then press in let's find a line and now if you press N go to modifier and modifier noise and now the noise is gonna affect the camera going up and down the Z axis let's start with the frame 503 and then with the frame let's give it I think 7, 10, 7, 7 seconds, 7 frames quick, nice and now you can modify every little thing here scale, strength, offset, phrase, depth is all up to you but for me this one works quite good it's got like a little bit of shake maybe work with the offset you can tweak it, you can tweak it again just find the way maybe your, your video is different from mine and now let's go into the out let's make the camera shake a little bit more smooth on the out on the exit happy really good let's go to timeline and here it is we have our quick fast simple superhero landing with some particles and two Planes. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully you learned something today.